Hello and welcome to Creative Design and Supply. Today I want to show you a very easy way to make a gang sheet. And the only thing that you're going to need to do is have Silhouette Business Edition. Now Silhouette Business Edition has a lot of extra features that will help you with this. Um, if you are on the designer um, side of it, you can go up to the business edition. Um, but this is how you do it in business edition. Now I will make a video on Canva also. And there is a new, there is a program that I'm finding out about called Be Funky. And I think it's like $5 a month and you would be able to do the same thing with it. Now, this is just to show you how to set up and to um, save your file. Now, at the end, it's very important. Um, there's a few three steps that you need to do to ensure that everything goes correctly. So let's go ahead and get in here. So I have it zoomed out, but I'm using this little um, Yorkie. Um, it does, if you see it, it has a do not copy on it. Um, but let's go ahead and get in here. So we are going to select, go to your top, and let me go ahead and get my little, there it is, okay. So we're going to come up here to page setup, and we're going to start here with the machine. We are going to put none, okay, that takes away your mat, and cutting mat, it's going to put auto or none. So down here, I want to do custom size, all right? And so our one of our game sheet sizes is 22 by 70 inches, all right? So let's go ahead and there we go, okay? So now I have one of my projects. Now, I'm not going to bring in a bunch of designs. I'm just going to show you how to set everything up with this design. Okay, so you see the wide box around it, and it says it's 10.4 by 10.6. Okay, that is not the true design size of it, but let me show you my little trick in here. I'm going to come over here, and I am going to do a box. Whoops. And... Now I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to unlock it. I'm going to say that I want it 9.5, okay, by 9.5. So that way something in my design is going to be 9.5, okay. He's actually 9.5, but let me show you. If he wasn't, let me bring you over here on the white, and I'm going to zoom back in just for a few seconds. Okay. So I have my 9.5 box. Now, don't grab him and try to make him the size that you need. Let me show you. So I'm going to go back. You can either control Z or you can come up here and go back. Okay. All right. So we don't want to stretch him. So if we want him to make the same size as this, I start out with the top of him or the bottom of him. Now I'm going to grab to the to the sides so that way it takes the whole design. Now it will move it down, but either with the top or the bottom, and then bring him up. So there you have a design that is at least 9.5 tall, okay? And now that we have him like that, we can move this over. I like to have several different box sizes so that way I know what I have. So now I'm going to make this box four because I have something else I'm going to do, okay. So now that I have him the size that I need him, you can come up here and you have panels over here and the panels up here and the panels over here do the same exact thing. You just need to hover over it for a second and it will tell you what it is. All right, so I'm gonna come over here to my panels and I'm gonna reciprocate and I'm going to do fill page 
But first, okay, it doesn't work because you have to click on the design that you. So make sure that you are clicked on the design and then press fill page, okay? Now, I'm gonna back out for just a second so that way you can see. Now, I have lots of room here that I can fill. So I'm gonna grab this and move that over and we are going to work with these two little cuties real quick. So now I'm gonna slide this over. I wanna get the best possible, okay? So now I know I have room in here. So I'm gonna right click, duplicate him. I'm gonna put him right here. I'm actually, you can either flip him over. Now we still have room. I'm gonna right click and duplicate him one more time. It's okay that he's upside down. So now if I come and I size him, whoops, I need to lock my grid. So now that I do that, he's not actually four in any sense of the way. So you can still do the same thing with your box. Okay, so I wanna make him a pocket size. So he doesn't fit right here, but he fits. Let's see, we can go ahead and just turn him back around. And then that way I have a setup for a pocket tee. Now, I will suggest that whenever you're doing this, you are going to want to zoom in and make sure that you have enough room to go around to cut him out, which that is perfect amount of room. Whoops. To do that. Okay. So then I'm just going to right click, duplicate him again. And then I may have to turn this one. Let's see, whoops, final arrow. So he is not going to. Now I have some room. I can still move over just a little bit. I want to move him, or if I want to make a little bitty one, I can move him down here and put them in. So now that I have that space, I'm going to select them all and I'm gonna duplicate and I'm gonna bring it down. So this is if you, if you are doing one image. Now, here, if you needed to, you could duplicate. And if you had room right over here, which I wouldn't do that, then you could, if you don't want to do like this, which that just needs to go back there. So then you can, again, whoops, it's covering everything. So then I would duplicate again and bring down, all right? Now, after you do this all, you are gonna want to follow Follow the lines and make sure that everything is right. So I'm just going to keep going down just to give you an idea to show you. Um, okay. Now I have one more room for it, but I'm going to go ahead. You can either just grab these and duplicate. And then you have enough room. Okay. You could scoot up and then do a bunch of pockets down here, or you could put pockets right in here. And then after that, okay, let's go ahead and delete that. The most important thing is whenever I'm working on a game sheet, I will save it as library first. That way you have an editable one that you can change and fix, or say you accidentally, 
you moved one over on top of it and you want to change it, you can go back. But once you save it to a PNG, you are set and that is what it is. So I like to go in and save it in my library. I will name it whatever. So I put test gang sheet. And then now I have it in my library. Then I'm going to go back and I am going to save it as hard drive. Now, this is where you are going to do the PNG. So I'm just putting it in documents today. And down here, you have the name, but this is save file type as. Now, you can save another one on your hard drive as a silhouette file, but it's only going to open in silhouette. So if you don't use your library, you can save it on your hard drive as this. That way you can pull it back up and edit it. Now, to save it as a PNG, you're going to click on it and do a drop down PNG. Okay. So now you're going to push OK and this, I'm going to replace it. Sorry. So now Silhouette gives you export bitmap. You're not worried about the first top two, you're worried about the bottom two. So dots per inch, that is your DPI. This is very low. To print, you want at least 300. So you would need to change this to 300 point and then check transparent background. Then you're gonna press save. And then wherever you saved it, that is the file that you would email to us at customcreativedesignsupply.com. All right, and if you have any questions about this, please comment. Um, we have videos, I have videos on showing you how to save a PNG, but not to do a gang sheet. So now you have this video. I will also do one for Canva. And don't forget about Be Funky. That is a new one to where you can do that. Um, you can save as a PNG on gang sheet. All right, like I said, if you have any other questions, comment below and I'd be glad to answer them for you. And as always, have a great day. Thanks.